Thanks for joining me today on our next money lesson. Today's lesson, we're going to be focusing on the dime. Now, last week, we learned about pennies. Those are one cent. Then we learned about nickels. Those are five cents. And today, dun, 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 we get to learn about dimes. Dimes are worth 10 cents. They are the smallest and lightest coin in the United States. Now, on the front of the dime is President Theodore Roosevelt. He was one of the presidents. And on the back, if you can notice, hopefully you can see my, through the camera here, but there's a symbol on the back. There's a torch in the center and that represents liberty. There's an olive branch and that represents peace. And uh, there's also an oak branch that represents strength and independence. So for such a tiny little coin, it has quite a bit of meaning on the back. Something else I want you to notice that kids get confused by. They see that, oh, this, this dime is so tiny. And this nickel is a lot bigger. This nickel must be worth more, Heather, right? No, 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 don't get tricked. Even though the dime is smaller than the nickel and Hold up, hold up. It's also smaller than this penny. It's actually worth more than both. So don't get fooled. This dime is little, but boy, it is worth a lot more than this nickel and this penny put together. Okay. Let's get started on learning how to count using dimes. Now, the thing I like is dimes are worth 10 cents and we get to count by tens. And counting by tens is super fun and easy. Let me show you. I'm gonna use our golden bead bar, which is 10 beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Do you remember these fancy, fancy golden beads? So this is my 10 bar. And just like my dime, this, this bar is worth 10 and so is this dime. So I'm gonna make a little row here and hopefully you can see. So I have 10 here and then I have another 10, 10 bar with 10 cents. And I can make a whole row with all of my golden beads and my dimes to help me to see, okay, I get it. A dime is worth 10 just like these golden beads are worth 10. So I'm gonna make a big long row here and I'm gonna to try to use all of my dimes or at least a big portion of them. Let's see if I can, see if I have enough, hopefully. Another 10 bar and another dime, that makes equals 10. Another 10 bar and another dime, that's 10. Another 10 bar and another dime, which is 10. And my last 10 bar, which is homemade, because I didn't have enough, is another dime. Okay, I have a lot of dimes. And you're probably thinking, if you're new at dimes, uh, how do I count these, Heather? Well, it's just like when we were at school and you had the bead chains and the bead bars. We can use these to help us count. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I have 100 in my bead bars here, but I also have 100 in dimes. So let me show you how to count that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I have 100 cents altogether just using these dimes and just a little something extra I wanna show you. If you get to 100, which is right down here, you can make a fancy, fancy exchange. 10 dimes is the same as one whole dollar. So $1 is like 100 cents. It's just in paper instead of coins. So what I would like you to try is at home, 
dig in one of your drawers or ask, ask your parents or whoever's caring for you if they have any dimes laying around. And I want to see how many dimes you have. How much money do you have in dimes? And practice counting by tens. Now, if you don't have the golden beads, it's totally fine. You probably don't, actually. I, I had to go borrow these from school. You can make little tiny cards like I did. I love making tiny things. So you can make tiny cards to help you skip count. You can also make your own bead bars using uh, beads and pipe cleaners. So I want you to go off and practice counting by tens and write down how much money you have. I hope you have fun and I hope this lesson was helpful.